Hey guys, I'm so excited because I'm here to show you the Hello Kitty collection with Wet n Wild. Um, but I do want to start off by saying that I am so sorry that I was not able to upload last week. Um, I had to go to a wedding and it was very fun. It was a very fun wedding, but it was very stressful at the same time because I had to be there. It was my best friend. Um, I was her maid of honor. So we were both kind of stressed out, but also very excited for it. And now it is officially over. Um, but yeah, I should be back to uploading. Um, but look, as you can see, what I'm holding here is the Wet n Wild Hello Kitty 50th Anniversary Bag. I did not get every single item. Um, I skipped out on one of the darker highlighters. I skipped out on the eyeliners, um, both the liquid and the pencil eyeliner. And I'm missing two items. I was going to wait to record those two items um, when they came in, but I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to record before my parents came in because I live with my parents, right? Um, so I do apologize. I'm not going to be able to include those items. The two items are the pink translucent uh, powder and then same goes for one of the lip oils it was the very bright pink lip oil i will not be able to record those items um because when you order this from walmart by the way i did order this from walmart nowhere else um they the order comes separate so just a warning if you do order from walmart the order may come in different um sets because it was three in total two came at the same time and then one of them is still it's gonna be delivered today but regardless here is the bag so as you can see this is white and this is like a faux leather bag what I do like about it is the fact that it is a double clasp zipper and it's just really really cute and it's also very big I don't know if you can tell I feel like compared to me you can kind of tell how big it is and it's just so so gorgeous like look at the details i think it's so fun and i like how she kind of looks like she's translucent with like liquid inside i don't know i think that is so pretty um I, and then this is the tag i still have not taken it off which i will but i think the detail is so pretty this is so cute um i am gonna open it but before i do i show you what's fully fully inside i do want to show the things that don't fit in here but for now i do want to show you kind of like if you open it you can see that a lot of the stuff does fit in here and this stuff is still in its packaging um and when you open it it opens all the way so that's very nice but first i want to show you the things that don't fit in there which is the makeup brushes look how cute that is and the eyelash curler these do not fit in there obviously once they're out of the packaging they will but as of right now i wanted to leave it like this so i can show you so isn't that so pretty and then i'm gonna show you also the eyelash curler so cute and like just look at the details of it it's so pretty the packaging of this is so great i don't know i think it's adorable so i'm gonna go ahead and open these show them to you then we're gonna go into the stuff that's in the back so i'll be right back okay oh you heard the cracking okay so i'm back and here are the brushes so these are like the standard length they're not short i feel like the um oh no i'm confusing with another collab it was this spectrum collab with hello kitty that one came out maybe two three years ago those brushes were shorter but when it comes to the creme shop those are like standard sizes and so are these wet and wild ones as you can see it has like a pretty like nude to a pink it has the wet and wild here but nothing on the other side and then here is what the handle looks like. I don't know if you can kind of, sorry, there you go. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like a pearlescent finish. So this is a powder brush, more towards the face because of how big it is. 
here is the second biggest brush I feel like this could potentially be liquid because it is kind of more of a compact like tighter um, bristles the bristles are held tighter and then of course here's a finish the second biggest this can be either like a highlighting brush or you know how sometimes you get something stuck on your face you can just brush this away with this and here you go it's all the same and then here are the other two brushes so cool right and then when it came to okay this is going to be for my people that scrapbook look at the background wouldn't this background be so pretty for scrapbooking or if you do any like snail mail with someone I feel like this is so like nice and you can tell of the gradient like this is more blue this is more pink so that's kind of fun because if you notice there's a lot of things that are gradient and I think that's cool so for the okay this was called the glitter mascara and eyelash curler set I posted the photo that's my thumbnail I posted that on reddit on the Sanrio not the Hello Kitty reddit but the Sanrio one and someone asked me if this had anything Hello Kitty related and no this curler has nothing that says it is Hello Kitty I feel like it would have been nice on the you know how sometimes they have like a rubber here when you hold it that way it doesn't hurt your hands I feel like it would have been nice if they had at least a little bit of like the word Hello Kitty here um, but that's just me being me and I don't know if you can tell because it's kind of hard in this lighting but it is slightly pink and then here is the glitter mascara it's a really pretty shimmery color and this is more of like a rainbow shimmer I don't know if you can yeah you can see the rainbow right here and it kind of matches my nails my nails are super simple I didn't want them to stand out at the wedding um, but here you go that's super nice and I am gonna open it and then we're gonna do a little bit of a swatch see that that's very pretty I feel like if you really wanted to you could probably use this as eyeliner or you could definitely use this on the lower lashes i feel like it would be really cute as like a little detail you know so that's it for the things that didn't fit obviously when they're out of the packaging it's small and it will fit um but so far that's it okay, so here i am back with the stuff and you can see how everything kind of opens up i'm gonna get some random stuff and we're gonna go from there the first thing I see is the mirror and keychain set. Look at it. This is kind of like um, a jelly finish because it's kind of translucent and same goes for the keychain. And also the packaging is actually really easy to open so that's kind of a plus. And here we go. Okay, so with this keychain, this is something that you add on something, not onto the mirror. So this keychain can go on your keys, on your purse, wherever you want it. But this is not attachable to the mirror, and I'll show you in a bit. Sorry, I'm fixing my rings. It's kind of annoying when my rings are kind of crooked, sorry. Um but yeah you can see that right there and then if i turn it around you can see it does say hello kitty no sorry it says wedding wild in the back there you go it's very cute and then you're gonna see what i mean about the mirror you cannot attach the keychain to the mirror the mirror is just it by itself and then there is no cover on the back of the mirror um and then if i take this off you can kind of see the the quality of the mirror it's good quality but i don't want to take it completely off because i don't want to blind you one thing i will say about this in particular 
it's kind of like um, a rubbery texture and if you were to go like this I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing do you see how I'm able to move it I feel like you could potentially pop off this mirror so do I necessarily think it's safe for children no as an adult you're gonna be fine but I, we do have to understand that Hello Kitty technically is aimed for kids so just a warning if you're a parent that wants to buy this um, another thing because it's like that soft rubbery material I would not be surprised if this got a little gunky or you know how when you buy like a pair of jeans or something and it stains I feel like this this type of material would definitely stain so just a warning but besides that I think it's cute and if you're gonna keep it at your house then you're gonna be safe if you're gonna take it in your purse then maybe watch out you know okay so the second thing I have here is the eyeshadow palette I'm so excited sorry I was looking for my knife in case I need to open it look at it look how cute it is so this particular says that it is a I am face palette if you can see on the back and it says the hyper pigmented palette featuring 16 shades in a mix of buttery soft mattes, shiny shimmers, gleamy satins, and self-adhering multi-dimensional glitters. So just a warning, this does have glitter in it. Um, and in the back you can see the little stars where it says the glitter. So here you go. Super cute. And I feel like this is very wearable. So that's exciting okay so i got it open but i completely forgot to explain the little tab so when you see it on walmart it's hanging off of this and this little tab is just really freaking cute it's just a cute hello kitty and it's like the same like liquid thing so let me see if i can rip it off yeah okay and it's easy to rip off so it's not in the way so here we go let me just open this up Look how shimmery this palette is. I feel like this is the perfect everyday palette for a lot of people. And a lot of people would enjoy that. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to show you with the back camera. That way you can actually see it up close. And then I'm going to see if I can do like a couple swatches or not super duper cute okay now I'm just getting things at random I got the wet and wild prime serum and here goes the gradient of the packaging this is very nice they did have a radiant um, kind of like a lotion but I did skip out on that because I already have one. It's not Hello Kitty related, but it's by Pixie. And I feel like I hardly use it. So I didn't want to buy something that I wasn't going to use. Oh, and also, you're going to notice I didn't get the Hello Kitty sponge. Even though the sponge is very, very pretty, I am not going to use it. And I feel like I'm going to end up losing it because it's like a ball. I know I can keep it in this packaging, but I'm just going to lose it. But regardless, here is the Wet n Wild Prime Serum. Oh, it's so nice. And um, it's not exactly the same, but it has like the vibe of the brushes. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. It has like the same Miller vibe. And this is a dropper. Let me see if it has a specific scent. Oh, it's kind of hard to open. Okay, there we go. It just smells like makeup. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it smells like anything in particular. Hmm. I don't think it smells like anything. So we're just going to do a dot. Here it is. You can kind of see it. 
Oh, it's very light. Like, super light. I feel like it just feels like liquid, not necessarily like a primer, but I've never used a priming serum. So, I don't know. Oh, but this is very pretty. Oh, you know what? This will look so pretty on. Like, um, on your chest area. Like, if you're wearing, like, a lower shirt. Or if you like looking like Edward Cullen. This is very cute. I actually really like this. If you have any sensory issues, I don't think this will bother you. Because it feels like just a plain liquid. It literally feels like water. So, that's not bad. The next thing I have is this. Um, this is the lip mask. And oh, I love it. Okay, let's open it up. This one does come with a little brush. So the little brush is not attached to the actual to the actual lip mask. But it's nice that they included one. The brush does not indicate anything that says Wet and Wild or Hello Kitty. But the packaging does. And you can kind of see the iridescentness reflecting you see how it's iridescent the same as the brushes um and this and all these items don't have a specific name to them but i do remember the collab with my little twin stars hello kitty and hello kitty my melody and kuromi every item what well, did have a name but here with hello kitty they don't I think this is supposed to smell like either strawberries or some type of berry. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't smell like anything in particular. Okay, so it is like a decent firmness, but it is very light. So I'm just gonna put that really quickly. Oh, it feels really good. That feels really, really nice, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely berry. Or, like, some type of strawberry, which makes sense, because I feel like she always kind of leans towards strawberries. Mmm. That's nice. Am I going to lose this little brush? Probably. But that's okay. I like that. Um, ooh, okay. I got the lip liners. I use lip liners literally all the time. Um, but I skipped out on the eyeliners. The eyeliners are basically the, exactly like this. Except it's black, white, and a light pink, I believe. So in the back it says three-piece lip liner set. This lip liner set delivers rich, creamy, highly pigmented colors that glide easily onto lips. Define shape and fill your lips effortlessly with a silky smooth formula. Oh my god. Okay, so these in the back are actually labeled. That's so interesting. Okay, so the first one is Cookie Charm, a rosy brown nude, Twinkie, bright nude pink, and then Darling is a wine red. Oh, I am so shocked by that because literally nothing at all is labeled. Mm. This one is labeled Be Kind now that I see it. So maybe the eyeshadow probably does have a name. It says Be Kind. This lip mask doesn't have anything. The ombre blush doesn't have anything either. It's just named ombre blush. And I skipped that on the other blush. Who knows? But that's exciting. Um... Oh, and it actually does say on the packaging. You can see Twinkie right there. That's so cool. Okay, we're going to open this up. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm so sorry I had to move the camera. Um, I had to get a makeup wipe. So here are the three shades. I want to swatch them for you. The very first one is Twinkie. And then this is supposed to be like that kind of bright pink color. Very pretty, actually. We have more of a deeper pink, which is Cookie Charm. Very nice. 
next to it. That would be a really pretty nude for me. And then the last one is Darling, which is the slightly red one. Also, these collide really well. I have not tried Wet n Wild lip liners in a very long time. So I'm actually very excited to use this. I feel like they're very usable colors. And for the most part, I feel like they will look good on every skin tone. One thing I like about them, which could be annoying, me being my purse, but I like how long they are. <laughs> because that means I will have them like literally forever. Um, also, these items... I am going to be using these items. They're not for collector purposes. Like, well, they are, but like, I'm literally going to use them. I like buying makeup that I'm actually going to use. So, whenever you see me hauling a collection, it's because I actually like it. Um, okay, we're going to start off with this blush. If I remember correctly, this is the, yeah, this is the only blush that I got. Um, there is another one that is slightly deeper. I ended up skipping it out on that one um and it's just this is just like so freaking pretty another commenter on reddit said that this blush really worked for her and it was perfect for her light skin tone i am not i feel like i'm not that fair um especially during the summer i feel like during the summer i actually tan <laughs> i'm mexican so i do get tan quite easily um, I'm trying to look, and this does not have a shade. Like, a shade name, I should say. This is so pretty. Oh, wow. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this top and then the bottom. Ooh, that's a really pretty, like, soft touch. Oh, I don't know if you can see it that well. A really nice wash of color and then the deeper shade i'm gonna do so pinky orange Ooh, that's so pretty okay and then i'm gonna do one with all together so just kind of like that and then see if there's a difference or anything it's right here yeah, it literally looks just like a regular combination of both of them. That's so pretty. I'm really excited. I'm happy that I got this. And it is just a straight up matte formula. There is no shimmer to it whatsoever. So that's nice. Sorry, I'm going to wipe it off because I do want to do swatches of the highlighters that I'm going to do next. Um, I am going to swatch the eyeshadow palette but i want to do a okay i'm back i was trying to say before my cat came in that i am going to be doing swatches of this i just want to film the palette up close before i touch it um that way you can actually see everything in different lighting um because it's different using it with my back camera so if you want to skip forward please do now we're going to get started with the highlighters i got both of the highlighters that were available that were trios but i skipped out and i only got one of the regular shimmering highlighters um they did have like a darker pink one but i wasn't sure how it would look on me um so i just skipped out on it but regardless we're gonna get started with the trios first there is nothing that indicates a name from what i'm looking at um, the colors are different, but it doesn't say anything. It doesn't even say if one is lighter or darker. Um, but you can see on the back, there's nothing that says that at all. And here it is. Let me just open it real quick. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Okay, so here is the very first one. So this is more of a nude, sorry, it's looking down. This is more of a nude one. And then I can show you the other one. Okay, no! <laughs> I was about to show you. Okay, so mine is not necessarily broken, but it's kind of broken. <laughs> okay, so this one, I don't know if you can see, but it popped out yet. 
it's still full and I can literally like push it down and all three are there you go see like it's technically not broken but I know that if I were to lift it up let me see if I can do it again yeah you can see that it lifted so it's technically not broken but it's not attached to the pan so this one in particular I will not be able to use out <laughs> so I'm gonna try my best to show you without flipping it you can kind of see that okay let me do a swatch and my hands got a little dirty from that one flipping over because you can kind of see a little bit it is not fully aligned to the hello kitty so i do want to warn you but it was interesting to see how the powders really are three different things and then it's just kind of smushed in here together will i get a replacement i don't think so simply for the fact that no one around me likes hello kitty um i'm the only one <laughs> So I don't I don't know what to do with like the extra one and I feel wasteful, you know. Anyways, we're gonna swatch it. We're gonna swatch first the middle one, then the left one, then the right one. So middle, left, right. Oh, they're all very different and they're kind of different finishes. So the Hello Kitty head is a kind of like champagne the left one i don't know if you can tell but it's much more glittery and sparkly and then the one on the right is the same formula as the top one but just much deeper that's really nice actually i really like that i feel like i'm able to use all the colors especially if i were to mix them now the one that's broken is the one that is more on the pink so again we're going to start off with the hello kitty first then the left one and then the right one and i don't know if you can see but it is moving so again if you see your hello kitty is kind of a little bit crooked it's probably because it's technically broken okay so Hello Kitty, left, and then right. Okay, so the order on this one is kind of messed up, but it's fine. This is Hello Kitty right here. This is the left one. You can kind of see the shimmery. And then this is the right. So the right is always going to be slightly darker. But regardless, I feel like I'm able to use all of them. And I have three different colors. So I think that's nice. Okay, let me wipe this off so I can show you the very last highlighter that I have. So with this highlighter, it looks like a standard white. But I feel like I would not be surprised if this one was the shimmery ones that don't have color to them. This one, at the same time, does not have anything that indicates it's Hello Kitty. And there is no embossing into the packaging you see so i probably could have gotten away with the darker pink but it's okay so here it is and then i swatch it look how shimmery that is if you like the fenty highlighter her most popular one you will like this there is no you can see there is no color but it's full of shimmer so that's really cool and it's not i wouldn't consider this like putty because if i smush it down nothing happens to that but it's just full of really nice shimmer but yeah it's just gorgeous and i like it So if anyone is interested in getting the pink one, I would probably recommend it even though I don't have it. 
Sorry, I'm getting another makeup wipe. Okay. And then the last three items are the lip products. I am missing the other pink one that is coming in the mail. Um, and I just got a text message that said it should be delivered today. But I just don't want to wait too long before my parents get here. So this is the Glossy Lip Stain. And this one does have a color. The very first one is So Dreamy. I don't know if you can like tell. Oh, it's not focusing. Yeah, So Dreamy. And this is the actual packaging. And I like how the detail <laughs> changes. So let's go ahead and show you. This is a nude. I feel like this would look really well with the lip liner. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. So this is like a thin gloss and it should stain a little bit the lips. I wonder if this one, I feel like that one would go really well with cookie cream. See, it kind of matches. That's nice. Okay, let me show you the next one. The next one, it is so sweet. So sweet. And you can see off the color of the packaging that it is, the detail really does change. This is a lighter nude, like a lighter pink color. Oh, this is nice. That's really nice. And let's go in with, I think it was Twinkie. Yes. Twinkie. That's so cool. They really do match. And then let me put them next to each other. Yes. Here you go. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is this one. So this one is in the shade Diamond Bow. And you can tell a little bit of the gray here. The packaging is square like most lip oils. Um, and here you go, this, the names are at the bottom, yes. I think there is a set, I just can't tell. I feel like it just smells like makeup, but I don't think they put a specific set, but here you go. Again, I really wish I could show you the other color but maybe next time look it's so shimmery that's really pretty this is really pretty too you can it has like the tiniest bit of gray to it but the shimmers are silver it looks really nice i'm gonna take the lip mask off that i had on earlier And show you what it looks like on the lips. I think it looks pretty. That's so cool. Okay. Um, it feels a little cooling. It kind of reminds me of the one that I tried last time, the Night Mover for Christmas. Oh, and you can see, it does stain you just a tiny bit. Okay, so now we're going to put all the stuff back into here. Everything that we got. The only one that I'm not going to put in 
is my broken highlighter. But see, so everything fits in here. Even the brushes, once it's out of the packaging, of course. And you just close it up and there's still plenty of space. So yes, that's exciting. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to insert the clips of me swatching this and that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Okay, so here is the actual palette so you can kind of see it. And then I'm going to do it with flash. Okay, and here is what it looks like with flash. So this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like outside it's very pretty and then i'm gonna go in and do some swatches okay so this is so hard to show you but you can kind of see um and i'm sorry i have i do have eczema <laughs> but you can see how pretty the eyes are the eyeshadow is and there's a chihuahua in the background but that's fine and then again here is the eyeshadow palette after swatching here is what the swatches look like in regular lighting indoor lighting what they look like with flash oh my phone is not zooming in and you can see my eczema in hd yay